This is part of the story too. Glastonbury is held sacred by so many different people for so many different reasons. In the night with froth on the wave, with fang. One of the reasons why that is is because it carries the story of the Western mystery tradition in its layers, in its many layers, including the Christian layer and multiple different expressions of the Christian layer. Now, another reason why that is, is because its root systems at a mycelial level connect with all other sacred points around the planet. Some people say that the Tor is the heart chakra of the planet. One of the reasons why I am bringing women to Glastonbury in September on retreat and pilgrimage is because I want to work with these sites that carry a lot of energy because whenever we hold something sacred for different reasons, there's friction there. And that friction actually is a mirror for our own cellular bodies because we carry both our pre-Christian and our Christian ancestors. And so uh, some of us identify with our pre-Christian ones, some identify with our Christian ones, and there's this great wall. And one of the things we'll be doing is something that's quite novel, is that we will be bringing that wall down and we will be asking for a blessing from all of our ancestors. We have secured a private time at one of the key Magdalene pilgrimage points in the world, St. Margaret's Chapel in Glastonbury Town where I will be performing specifically for you my folk opera, Kianalis Tasknada, which basically was um, a creative project to begin the process of cleaning up my heritage house and alchemizing my own lineage, my own spiritual lineage. We're staying at a beautiful manor house in the countryside My sister is flying in. She used to run a beautiful cafe. She is our in-house cook. We're sourcing local food as much as possible. There's going to be cider sipping, if that's your thing. We'll be sharing around a fire outside or by the fireplace inside. And there will be opportunity to do a little bit of shopping in the town. And there's bookstores, used bookstores there, and you'll find books you can't find anywhere else. And there's also going to be opportunity for us to lounge in our pajamas. This is a balance of retreat and ritual and pilgrimage all in one. And you can expect some deep transformation here because whether we know it or not, this is the elephant in the room in the West and we've been farming this out to other groups and it's time for us to look at it. I invite you, if you're experiencing a visceral response to this, this is your holy invitation. Come to Glastonbury with me in September. 